East Texas police officers honored for their efforts in keeping the roadway safe from drunk drivers. KDK's James Bowden was honored to see what's being done to keep our families out of harm's way while they drive on the highway. Any person who dies on the roadway is way too many. Heather Singleton with TxDOT takes time to remember the victims of drunk driving crashes, some involving children. We unfortunately lost three kids in one crash. My own experience, my middle son was in the car with his friend. They were both drunk and my middle son was killed uh, as a result of a one vehicle crash. Drunk driving is a huge problem, not just in East Texas, but all over the country. So these people are out there on the roadway and taking higher risks and in doing so they have caused the numbers to actually go up, not just in Texas, but across the nation as a whole. Police officers are trying to change that, but there's a huge risk involved. When law enforcement, TxDOT, other emergency responders are out there on the side of the road, they are being hit by impaired drivers. 85, my units just got hit. 85, my units just got hit. Mothers Against Drunk Driving decided to honor these brave officers for their efforts in keeping families safe. <laughs> Data from the last two years show drunk driving numbers are going up. There has not been a deathless day on Texas roadways since November 7th of the year 2000. No day goes by without one person dying on our roads. But these deaths are not accidents. I always say just the way you're planning the perfect outfit when you're going out, then you need to plan the perfect way out how you're going to get back home. That's why when drivers make the conscious decision to hop behind the wheel, they're not just putting themselves at risk, but also families and police officers. MAD will start their No More Victims program to keep educating people around the country. We're starting to see numbers kind of level off, and so it's the hope that we have that we're going to be able to see those plummet once again. So families all across the country feel safe on the road. James Bowen, KETK News.